Before you go, subscribe, like, and comment. Click the bell if you want notifications of new episodes. So that's it. I guess that's the definition of a takedown rifle. That's a center at 100. Yeah. So not very fast with the gloves on, but at least now I know I can do it. So that's the scope off. I'm just using these two levers here. Back lever is rubbing into the scope body. That's that's the problem I have. That's also centered at 400. This works. This episode contains sponsored items. It's uh, very different to, to hunt Shama here than in other places. I mean, every place is unique, to be honest. On, on the coastal part of Croatia, very often you can find them really below the line that you don't expect them, below 500 meters above sea level, if they are chased by wolves, for example. I mean, normally they, they are at higher altitude. I mean, it changes really quickly. As soon as you are behind the ridge and you can see the seaside, on the seaside, it's very rocky. There is less forest, less uh, soil to keep uh, veg vegetation to grow. So the rocks are really exposed. Inland, rocks are covered with thin layer of uh, soil. Uh, we have lots of different types of uh, woods, but predominantly beach. And it's very different scenery from one part to another part. Yeah, hunting day on Shama, we start normally in hotel, we meet there, we have coffee, that is normally at 7 o'clock. Once when we finish that, we go to the area and uh, it takes us normally between 20, anything, between 20 and 40 minutes to reach the area that we want and from there we go on foot.
finally a small break in the weather. Now, hunting in weather like this isn't easy. I'm essentially looking for a dark, small animal inside dark to black shrubbery and add some mist and limited visibility. I basically have to get close and look into every crevice, so it's very, very slow. And also, when you dress for hunting like this, you can't avoid being wet. So it's either from the outside or it will be from the inside. And the way I control it is by moving fairly slowly. So the sweat on the inside is warm and it gets a chance to go through the membrane. Because it's inevitable that the jacket will wet out. You just can't avoid it. And also, you want a long cut, so it goes down to the bottom of your balls and you don't get a gap in the small of your back. You want that to be covered. We prefer modern like Gore-Tex materials, but very often if you are walking, you are sweating a lot. So to find the best balance, you have to look into so many different brands because you didn't find one brand that has everything right. The favorite boots are leather boots. For me, uh, classic normal boots are the best. Now I'm trying something from Italy, more modern, very light, and uh, I would say very good, but, but the boots that I use a lot are just normal leather boots with good Vibram soil. On these obstacles, on these rocks, because it's, they're very sharp and uh, uncomfortable for most of people to get used to, so you need a few hours actually to spend on the rocks and then you pick up uh, the pace and uh, it's much easier from there. For those of you that wonder, this is my baby bag, this is my carry kit, extra batteries, kit, lens, water. But the majority of the room in the backpack is simply the camera. Okay, let's go. The distances are very often beyond 200 meters. So before you come and spend so much money for the hunt, you should go basically to practice, to know your, what you have, and then you can achieve a lot because you don't need the most modern weapons or equipment to, to get the shamar. We try to get as close as possible, but when you have one guide, with a client on these rocks you make noise. Ideally, one hunter alone would be the best, but by the law and also for the safety we prepare to take guide with our guests. But again, some guys are really well prepared.
some guys are really well with shooting, some guys are, uh, they have really good equipment, they don't know how to use it or they are afraid of recoil of their own guns. Uh, we've noticed that, especially with uh, older population of the hunters, because they don't use muzzle brakes and so on, so very often they bring like magnum caliber and they are just afraid of recoil. Personally, I prefer 270 as a minimum. 6.5 works really really well, especially with uh, softer bullets. You want to transfer the energy really quickly because the, the animal is not that big. But the problem is it can take the shot really well and go for long distances. Here we have cliffs and if they drop they can break their horns, so you lose actually what we call the trophy. That is one of the things also you risk your own life to get fetch that animal because we don't want to leave anything behind one of the things uh, the distances are very often beyond 200 meters um, but again some guys are really well prepared with the equipment with the knowledge they they practice practice is everything so before you come and spend so much money for the hunt you should go basically to practice to know your, what you have and then you can achieve a lot. Kiplov does it again. Okay. So that's another successful adventure with the Kiplov. Although, you can't question the wisdom of me getting a beautiful stock. This one is absolutely ruined. So, both a success and a failure. I got really close to the chamois, which I wanted. I am an amateur when it comes to chamois, and I'm not sure that I shot the right one. There were seven of them, and I picked one of them. That looked good to me, but it could have been wrong. Okay, let me just go up and have a look. As you can say I was successful, even though I wasn't able to film it. If anything, it's a nice memory for me. I would have to see what the pro hunter says if I shot the right animal or not. Okay, that was the fun part. Now I have to go back over the mountain. So this is the hygiene kit. And this is the carry kit. And it's not the best knife, but it's what I have right now.
Thank you for <laughs> understanding. <laughs> Go on, girls. <laughs> oh, yes. Subscribe to the THLR channel by clicking the left logo icon so you'll be shooting straighter than a drunk skunk before the sun shines over northern Norway.